Good morning, everyone. Um, so we're in Carlisle still. Uh, we just getting ready. It's in the morning. We're going to go down to Waffle House and have a nice breakfast and get back on the trail. And uh, it looks like a beautiful day. Good weather. We're doing great miles. Uh, we did just under 80 miles in four days coming in here into Carlisle. So we're pretty excited about the future. Okay, so we're uh, we're back uh, by the trailhead. Uh, we went to Waffle House. We had a nice breakfast. Uh, then we we took a lift over here, and uh, it's it's quarter after nine. We're a little later than we want to be, but we have some good good terrain. So we're uh, we're looking at doing 20, maybe 22 today. But I'll uh, keep you posted, get you some views, and so on. Nice little walk along Children's Lake. It's called Children's Lake. And uh, this is the trail. Road crossing. Ooh. There's some stuff. Some oatmeal. Actually, not bad. And then the water is all gone. Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> southern <laughs> stair stepping. <laughs> oh, here comes the German with the German steps coming. Nice. Boom. Stair crossing. Boom. Boom. Stair crossing. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Look at this. Road crossing. Crossing our 81. Stairs crossing. What? Mystic thistle. Okay, so we've uh, stopped, we had lunch, um, and we're gonna head back out. We got about another, uh, what do we got, like 10, 11 miles left? 11 point three, probably 11 point something. Yeah, so we got about 11 point something left, but the next two or three or four or whatever is, uh, is flat walking, the famous road runner. There we get her in focus, in frame. So it's a nice, beautiful day, like I said, and uh, see if we can get you some views this afternoon. But uh, it's just pretty flat, straightforward walking today so far. No, we have two bumps coming up at the end of the day. We don't worry about that. We don't no, talk about We don't worry about those. We don't talk about them. Going underneath the road. Tunnel. This is cool. Thank you. There's something you don't see every day in the woods. Kind of reminds me of Canada. 
We have these everywhere in Canada on the trails. Good morning. Uh, we're at Cove Mountain Shelter. It's a little later than normal. Um, we, we're usually gone by now. I think it's around 7.30 or so. We'll be out of here before 8. 7.46. We, we should be out of here before 8, I'm hoping. And uh, we're heading into Dun Cannon. Um, I'm not sure where our final destination is, but I hear that the rocks are pretty bad um, in, after Dun Cannon, so. <laughs> they already started being bad. Yeah, yeah. But it's Pennsylvania, so we're gonna grin and bear it, and hopefully I can get you some views, and hey, who knows? Could be a good day. It's hopefully. always a good day with these three anyway, so. That's true. It'll, it'll be fun. Okay. Crazy climb first thing in the morning to get out of here. Always the case whenever you're coming out of a camp or a town. It is what it is. Check this out, everybody. <laughs> Pennsylvania, viewing. There's a big lake over there to the right. Lots of farmland. But overall, Pennsylvania is pretty flat. Pretty rocky. We are having a bit of a Rocky section. It's gonna get even rockier um, after Dun Cannon, which I think is only a couple miles away. I haven't checked it. I'm told that it gets really bad. But hey, it is what it is. I know I keep saying it. Probably gonna keep saying it about the rocks, but we get to go into town. And oh, this should be fun. Is that what you just sang? Is that what you were just singing? swimming in there folks trust me <laughs> that's where <laughs> we got cars we got trains we got oh, cars. No, we got everything we and got we got feet yeah. planes oh, well, so you Okay, so we found the uh, outfitters. There's Fox doing her resupply. Roadrunner doing hers. Um, it wasn't what I call a fully stocked store, but it's okay. It's cute. A lot of jewelry and stuff not hiker related here. But there is a hostel here too, so that's nice. The famous Doyle Hotel. Folks, it's a crap hole. But they're renovating it slowly to accommodate hikers. Okay, so we're uh, out of the outfitters now and uh, we're over at the, uh, I'll tell you. At the I'll it's go called go Goody's, Goody's, Goody's Restaurant. He just has apple, this apple like something, here, uh, apple dumpling, which was amazing. Okay, we uh, just finished uh, having breakfast at Goody's. Um, yeah, I had uh, something called an apple dumpling, which I gotta say is probably one of the best things I've ever had. 
uh, and the breakfast was amazing. This place, if you come to Duncannon, goodies, check out goodies, especially for you hikers. Check out goodies. It's right across the street from the Doyle. All right, so now we're going to head over to the food mart. Um, that way we can get pick up some extra stuff, extra supplies, and uh, then we're heading out of town. Okay, so we just left the church. Uh, there, was a, there was a church in town, very hiker-friendly church, and uh, we stopped, got some water, which we were concerned about, um, and we met some fellow hikers. Um, we met some fellow hikers there who are sticking around for a little while. So we're gonna head out. Oh, and by the way, we got we got our nails done. So we found some nail polish in the uh, hiker box, and we decided to uh, take advantage of it. So that was fun. We got 16 more miles to do. Uh, it's a pretty warm, hot day. And it's already afternoon, so we got to get moving. We really got to put on some miles.